Marcus, how'd that feel today for you, for a guy that was ready to, to leave but uh, decided to stay and uh, kind of paid paid for that a little bit today, didn't you? you got uh, it, felt, work. it felt good. I mean, this is the reason why I came back, to be with these group of coaches and my you know my teammates. They like my brothers, and the way we contributed to that win, you know, it was a big win for us to get us back on track. Did you know at the start of the week you were going to be the main guy today or get the number? Did you get number one grab starting on the uh, no, sir. It was just, you know, the next guy, you know, we compete every day in practice and everything and, you know, injuries ended up happening. So now it's just, you know, next guy up and, you know, the talent never falls. I noticed in the game you had kind of ducked up the tongue for just a little bit and obviously you were back. Is that something that you had looked at, something serious or? No, nah, it's nothing serious. You know, running back. You know, you get bruised up for a little bit, but it's, you know, you got to be tough to play that position and take on them type of hits. How much do you think this game kind of, with, with, you know, everything going on and just young, especially offensively, young offense, with McLean now, uh, young quarterback at the moment, uh, how much do you think the timing of this game, having this game right <coughs> at this point in the season is helping for y'all before you get ready to go into, obviously, the tough match at the season and the big close game? Uh, it was very helpful. I mean, having that, that whole offensive line starting again for us that came back, I mean, it's very helpful having a young quarterback, too, in there, you know, keeping them calm and poised, you know, under that pressure to where they can make the plays that we know that they can make. And Lamar was a good team. You know, we don't put nothing past them. It's just, you know, today was our day. How do you think Bowman played in the second game? Bowman played real good. He stepped up. You know, it's the next man up. When one man goes down, the next man has to step up and be ready. And he showed us that he was ready to lead this team. How about Jet? What do you think he does play in the second half? Jet, same, same way. The next man up. And when he got his shot, he showed y'all flashes of what he can do when he has the ball in his hands and when he's throwing the ball. It's just, you know, penalties came into a factor. But he showed y'all flashes of what he can do. Are the penalties effort penalties, or are they – Lack of focus, or what do you, what do you, what do you think is the cause for all that? Uh, that's a question you got to ask Coach Kingsbury. You know, I can't really give you the answer on that one. But you're glad you came back, aren't you? Yes, sir. Very glad I came back. Were all three of the quarterbacks kind of impress you a little bit? And yes, sir. Yes, sir. Going into the fall, the players didn't know who was going to start because the competition was so tight. So it just came down to that first game, and then McLean got the starting job. Then, unfortunately, he got hurt, so Bowman had to step up. And then, you know, God forbid, if Bowman gets hurt, then Jed is up. And then it's just to keep the ball rolling. Getting 17 carries today, uh, did you get in a pretty good rhythm, or how did you feel getting that many? Yes, sir. It felt good to get that many touches. You know, Tech don't usually run the ball that much. So it felt real good to get uh, 17 touches and get in the rhythm, you know, and get the running game up. What do you think is the two freshmen behind you? Uh, great. Awesome. I mean, those guys compete every day. They push me to get better every day, knowing that those two are behind me and the talent never falls. If I was to go down, then those two are up, then they could get the job done. And, you know, they're very elusive. They got some power to them as well. You see, Tazon tried to jump over the pile, and he got a touchdown. So, you know, he's, they all sold you flashes of what they can do. So when you get, when you get brought in as a, as a running back here at Tech, I mean, obviously you've heard Red Raiders, you know, Tori for the, the throwing. Kind of like, what's your mindset when coming in as a running back? Uh, make – Make every rep count. You know, when you get the ball in your hands, you just got to make the best of it. You know, you know, make the coaches believe that they can trust you with the ball in your hands. And that's what, you know, us as a running back group, that's what we did. When we came, chose to come here, we knew we wasn't going to get that many touches. But when we got the ball in our hands, we had to make it, you know, make something happen, either if it was running the ball or catching the ball out the backfield. How important was it for you guys to get that shot? Oh, it was very important to uh, come back from last week and, you know, get back in practice, get back focused and make sure we do our jobs and show that our defense has changed and things have changed. Did you guys talk about that on the sideline as the other guys were going in and, and <coughs> to preserve that? Was that a No, nah, we just kept it going. It's just a game we keep every play, we work hard, every play, trying to make stops, turnovers, everything like that. What about to get those, to get those turnovers rolling in this game? What, that, what does that really do for the defense? I mean, 
for the defense, I mean, it's exciting, and then it also puts the ball back in the offense's hands so we can score more points, more opportunities to win. Is that, is that something you guys you look for those, or is it kind of like when it comes? I don't know. We preach that in practice every day. We always work the ball. That's our mentality, try to get the ball back so we can get the offense on the field so they can score. So then you guys shut them out, obviously, the whole game. The first half, they didn't get past the 40-yard line, but you didn't get a turnover either. So do you look at that as a success or failure? I mean, as long as they don't score, it's a success for us, honestly. Notice a couple times after y'all made some pretty decent stops, there were some penalties that, that brought it back. And Stahl, you, you personally would get frustrated and throw your towel or whatever. How do those penalties affect you on the field? Does it increase your focus? Or? Uh, well, personally, I, I don't recall getting frustrated or anything. But um, no, I mean, it does set us back a little bit. But I mean, we've got to keep moving forward and doing what we do. Um, I mean, we lost a few players in the game early, so I mean, it kind of hurt. But I mean, it, just, it was a wake-up call. So now it's time to get back in, on our grind and get back to work. With this shutout in, in this game, where, where's the defense to go from here? I mean, you always got to keep moving forward. Where's the defense to go from here? I mean, next we're going to try to do the same thing. I mean, that's what we preach, stop, stopping them from scoring the ball, giving the ball back to the offense so they can get more points on the board. I mean, execution, everybody has to, every, all 11 of, of us have to execute our uh, jobs. And so that was really the big thing. Uh, last week we didn't execute that much, and this week we came back and we did what we were supposed to do. What was the message from Coach Kingsbury in the locker room after the game? Today? Um, we got to get ready for Houston. I mean, we're high right now. We're up high right now because we just got a good dub. I mean, excuse me for that. But uh, now it's time to get back to practice, work on the next week. Try to be Houston.